Note the salty language and toilet humor. I got reviewed in the newspaper. The lady wrote, I like rusted wheeze, I suppose. But I hate to say, sooner or later, every story ends up using a toilet joke. I wrote her back, well, I like you too, lady, I suppose. But I hate to say, sooner or later, every day, you end up using the toilet. So you might just well be laughing at my toilet jokes, because I know you ain't laughing at that joke you're leaving in the toilet. <laughs> P.S., honey, laugh, and the world laughs with you. Cry, and you cry alone. She wrote back, no, no. Toilet humor is the lowest common denominator. It's cheap laughs. It's vile, vulgar, demeaning, and degrading. You should be chastised for it. That's just what I think. I wrote her back. Well, you know what I just think, honey? I just think I'm going to get up my logger laptop and log on to www.icouldgiveashit.com. <laughs> P.S. To laugh at toilet humor is healthy. Know this, the next time you're farting about bathtub and you don't at least crack a smile, you will lose one month off of your life because if you ain't smiling at the sound of it, but God for Joe, you'll at least be chuckling at the feel of it. Ah. She didn't write me back. She's probably home right now loading up on broccoli and soda crackers to plug her ass, you know. But some people don't like me. Other people love me. I got reviewed in the newspaper, the local Rutland Gazette. Oh, they love me. They wrote a review. I almost teared down when I read the video. It was so heartfelt they written. Front page headline news. Rutland Gazette. Rusted Wee Show. Biggest thing to hit our town since teen pregnancy. They love me. <laughs> Fear not. Fear not about toilet humor. Fear not about toilet humor. Going. Sorry to say. One of the few things that we all have left in common. I get up six times every night to take a leak. <laughs> My ex-old lady wouldn't get up once. She could be having a nightmare, the Titanic movie, and still be pinching water. Ah. <laughs> Couldn't she tinkle down a little puddle of water come morning time, though, about ten minutes worth? She sit in just like a dump truck. <laughs> 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 Way holding back a number two, you know. I'm tripled over in pain, bound and god darn determined not to drop out the Jackson Five, you know. I'm like, ah, yeah. I'm like, let me. She said, You got up six times last night. I said, Yeah, every single one of them times is a bridesmaid. If you don't let me in there soon, I'm gonna be loading my britches with the bride. Like, and she come from a long line. A door shudders after she go number two. Whereas I come from a long line of door, leave halfway open, or figuring we'd mildly affect several people. You door shutters could kill the next poor bastard that walks in there. <laughs> and you door shutters are also sprayers. I just, <laughs> the hell is that? What the, what do you think? If you spray, the next person that walks in is going to be like, <laughs> all right, who shit a great big strawberry? <laughs> Stink by itself is just stink, but you mix it with spray, man, that shit clings to you. You, know, it's like, ah, ah, ah. you walk around town all day, smell like poop pourri. You know, <laughs> and you sprayers are also toilet paper folders. I, you fold it into a little rectangle. I don't know about you toilet paper folders, but last time I checked, crack of my ass wasn't square. <laughs> you gotta stinch it up. And you're the same people. You're the same people that light a candle in a stinking bathroom. That don't work. You know what you get when you light a candle in a stinking bathroom? A tiny, tiny bit warmer stinking freaking bathroom. <laughs> you can't hide it by spraying. Isn't it a hint enough that when you meet someone new, they come up to you and they're like, Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Interesting. Perfume. Did you just shit your pants? <laughs> and I'm always prepared. If I go to a buffet dinner party and I see the guys have been in the bathroom more than two minutes and he comes out, I'm diving on the shrimps, man. He just touched his hole. He ain't touching them shrimps. <laughs> I'd rather have sars than eat any of them touch hole shrimp, shrimp touch hole, whatever the hell. You, you ladies are laughing. But you ladies will say anything for us guys not to know what you've done in there. Which is stupid because we don't know what you've done in there until you say something. I tried to hide it. I had a Texas barbecue at my house. Woman was in the bathroom 20 minutes. She come out. We didn't know what she'd done in there until she said something and tried to hide it. Then I called her bluff. She's like, she comes out. She's like, <clears throat> pulling her shit down like they do, you know, pulling it down. <clears throat> Rusty, I really love your bathroom. I love your bath towels. They're so soft. I'm like, oh, yeah, thanks. I like them, too. You didn't just wipe your ass with them, did you? <laughs> <laughs> come on, ladies. Be like us guys. Announce it. And be proud. I'm going to take a crap. <laughs> Kids, if you need daddy, he'll be in the bathroom ice fishing, dropping the bait down the hole. Uh, 
I'm sorry about the toilet humor, but we all go. And I still think we should all be going outside. Like our forefathers and foremothers did. Who's the genius who invented indoor plumbing? That was stupid. Some wise guy inventor sitting in the outhouse toilet. Oh, man. Woo. Man, this stinks. I think we should move it inside the house and put it next to the kitchen. <laughs> Same guy invented white underwear. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I do. I apologize about the toilet humor wholeheartedly. I think it's the one great human equalizer we have left in the universe today. You take the prettiest, richest, smart person, put them next to the ugliest, poorest, dumb person, have them both evacuate their bowels, and it will smell the same. <laughs> but we don't like that, do we? No, we want to be different. We want to think we're different than the next person. I think we want to think we're a little bit better than the next person. You mean, animals get it, man. They know they're the same. That's why they'll crap and pee anywhere. It don't make no difference. That's why I think life would be a lot better place to live if instead of being judged by the amount of money we make, we were judged by the amount of duty we make. Because God, if he knows we ain't off on the money, but we're all full of crap. Ain't that right? You know?